Hello everyone! Last we left off, we were debating which brother we should trust, and we are going to figure out what this Vault of Mist is, which I can only assume is going to help us make that decision. So, the message we got was to turn all of the marker switches to the off position, and as a final step, uh, turn off the the dock marker switch. But before we do that, I want to show you something that I find a little odd. Now, you notice this map here. All of these uh, areas are lit up, and you notice when we flipped the switches um, up, this turned on all the areas. When they were off, you couldn't see like the outline of these white areas. The marker switches did that. That would make me assume that the position they're on right now is on. And I've made this mistake multiple times making this assumption, but the game apparently doesn't agree with me or there was a mistake because they're all on what I or they're all in what I would consider the on position now. But if I flip this switch, it opens. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, according to the note, it says that every one of these switches needs to be set to the off position, and then as a final step, you turn this to the off position. Well, we turn this to the off position, and all the other marker switches are on, and it opens it. And oddly enough, if you turn them all off and do this, it doesn't work. So, I think that's a mistake. I don't understand it, <laughs> personally. Uh, but with trial and error, that is how you do it in the Mist Masterpiece Edition. Um, the old school Mist. And um, I think that's something they changed in real Mist. I think they might have even changed the note. Because I, I know I watched a, a playthrough and it didn't feel contradictory to me. So... I don't know. I think it might have been a mistake. But that is how you do it. Uh, with, with trial and error, you can figure it out. And we get a white page. You know, when I heard the term Vault of Mist, I expected, like, the docks to part and for me to find, like, this epic age or something. And it's a page. Well, we don't know what to do with this page. Very odd. Well, seems like it's important because we can carry it around. I wonder if we can give it to uh, Cirrus or Akinar. You don't yet have the final page. You must not have understood my directions. Find Passion 158 in the last book on the middle ship. Enter it into the fireplace and bring the red page to me. Hurry. And don't touch the blue page of the green book. Well, if you weren't paying attention or you fell asleep during the message it gives you before, woo, that's the wind. Uh, that is a nice way to see the previous message. That's the message you'll always get when you open this book now. But the white page does no absolutely nothing. Um, it does nothing when you go to Akinar's book either, but he does have a second message if you open it again. You're wasting my time! <laughs> and yours! Just go to the last book, the little shelf, put Adam 158 into the fireplace. There's no reason to waste time. <laughs> Just get the blue page. Leave everything else there. Well, he's awfully more bossy. It kind of makes me not want to do what he says. But uh, I guess that means it is time for us to put the pattern into the fireplace because I don't see what else to possibly do. So let's do that. I wrote down the pattern from before. I don't know why I clicked over there. I don't know. All right. So it does take a little bit to put this code in because it is a somewhat complicated code. Um, in Real Mist, you can hold and drag, and you cannot do that. 
in this version, I don't believe. Nope, you can't. But if you make a mistake, you can click again and uh, make the, the square go away, which is a pretty, pretty neat device here, I think. And right. Oop, there's something wrong here. Oh, that's what it is. I need it like that. And then these all are filled up over here. And then we have one over there. All right. That looks about right. Whoa. Here we are, moment of truth. Uh, green book, blue page, red page, and a white page in my hand, which we still don't know what it does. Now, let's go over real quick what, um, what goes into these choices here. We don't know much about this green book here. We know that both Cirrus and Akinar told us not to touch it, that it was a trap for wandering um, explorers. I find the story a little bizarre because this fireplace area is not exactly easy to find. I feel like if this was a trap, uh, it would be in an easy to find place. But uh, with all the chaos that happened on this island with the, the burning and such, uh, maybe Cirrus hid the, um, the green book away. Uh, also, I do wonder how Cirrus and Akinar knew that the red and blue pages were here. Uh, that's a question I've always had. I've always felt like the locations of the blue and red pages, um, nor pink pages, I should say, uh, had more to do with, like, this is where Cirrus and Akinar were, and this is where their essence were, because they're kind of magical pages. But I don't think that was the intention of the developer. That was just my personal interpretation. Um, that's why when you put one down, one comes back, things like that. I mean, certainly, uh, this game tries to have something that maybe you wouldn't call magic per se, but there's a kind of a magic quality to it. You can link to places through books and such. Um, supposedly it's by something called the art, uh, and writing can do this, but, uh, Anyway, it's not a far stretch that somehow these pages would be put kind of around where maybe Cirrus and Akinar were since they were trapped there. But how would they know where these final ones were? Uh, maybe they, they had an idea of how the books worked that they were trapped in. Um, maybe they knew that they had something to do with this green book before they left and that's why they would both be here. I'm not entirely sure about that. But needless to say, this is a big choice. Uh, now, in the next video, I'm, I'm going to make several videos with several of these choices. But, uh, first of all, I'm going to explain, when I played this with my family, what everybody wanted. And I've already explained this a little bit. I wanted to pick the blue page as my, like, nine-year-old self. I liked uh, Akinar's emotional pleas. I thought he was just misunderstood. Yes, he was creepy as hell, but I trusted him more than Cirrus because I thought Cirrus was disingenuous. My mom wanted to pick the pink page. She thought Cirrus seemed, you know, not so evil, not so bad. My dad wanted to pick the green book. Because he said he didn't trust either one of the brothers. They both seemed like they had bad things going for them. But we didn't know much about this green book. And we had already obtained this white page by the time we got here. Just like we have in this playthrough. So I begged my dad not to pick the green book. I was like, that's going to trap us. It's the bad ending. Ma you know, various things. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's the predicament we found ourselves in. I'm going to put annotations over all of these so you can pick the um, what, what you would choose or what you want to choose and uh, see what happens with each of these choices.